Well, what have we got going on over here? Is it Mr. Oh, it's the stocks guy. Good, because I need money. Kiryu san. Uh, hello, Kiryu san. Do you remember me? You're, uh, Hiro Yan? You got it. Listen, I'm in a bit of a bind right now. Uh, the thing is, you know those stocks I sold you? I can't really say why, but I need them back ASAP. I can pay, of course. I'll even throw in an extra 200 grand on top of what you gave me. So what do you say? Will you sell? That's a lot of money. I mean, he needs them back. We're a nice guy. Let's take him. Okay, I'll sell him back. So 1,000 shares of blah 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 and receive 700k. Thank you so much, Kiryu san. It really means a lot. Well, I need to go. Look into Smart Eden. Yeah, I really hope they didn't just go all the way back up and I could have made like 4 million with them or something stupid. Hero Yarn's poorer than dirt now. Phew, I'm glad I sold it all. Oh, amazing! <laughs> hey, you! I heard you sold Hero Yarn his stocks back. Good move. Hmm? Did something happen to him? Didn't you hear? His, company gone t his company's gone totally belly up. I had no idea. What happened? Hiro Yan was really moving his shares, but then instead of investing the money, he splurged on his own personal stuff. Women and booze, I hear. Apparently his VP walked out on him too. Smart Eden is basically dead in the water. I'm damn glad we didn't stick around very long then, huh? Well, stupid choices have consequences, usually. We didn't finish looking into it, though. Like, the, the, the mission doesn't seem to be done. Hey, hold up! You're that chump who was backing up here, Yarn, yeah? Mm. Sorry, do I know you? Oh, come on, man! Don't bullshit me! Here I am to my gal, and you came along and busted me up while I was trying to get some righteous payback! Right, I remember you now. Damn straight! Anyways, I'm feeling pretty good now. My girl came back and life's pretty smooth these days. Nice. Glad things have turned out for you. From the sound of it, Hiroyan's finally shit the bed and ran his company into the ground. Word has it, he's declaring bankruptcy. He's gone bankrupt? Hell yeah! And when Hiroyan found himself begging on the streets, my girl came running back. <laughs> Smart Eden stocks are worth, le worth less than the paper they're printed on now. Feels good, man. <laughs> it just goes to show, money ain't got shit on true love. If that's not a tribe for romance, what is? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the opposite of what that proves. Your girl is going to whoever is the richest. So that proves that money is more than true love by your logic. Which it isn't, but you know. So those stocks are worthless now. It's a good thing I sold them. Sure is. Did he go... How was he able to buy them back if he literally had just gone bankrupt? I guess maybe I was meant to come back there a little bit later. But, oh well. What else we got to do? We gotta make our way up there, and I believe... That's it other than Mahjong, and fuck Mahjong. Hmm? Another email. Oh god. Howdy, Kazuchan. I'm near some kind of theater or something. I ain't got a clue where this moon dust placed is. Think you can come and fetch me? Granny White. Sounds like she's lost in front of the theater. Maybe if I help her, I'll figure out a real story. Well, I mean, she's nearby, but I want to go and help out the naked man first. I'm sure that's perfectly fine. Oh my god, why are they just everywhere lately? I can't go an inch- I can't move an inch without everyone trying to kill me. Ah, uh... yeah, Let's carry on. I really do wish that they didn't take out the, um, hovering over buildings reveals their names or streets or whatever. Because it makes it so much harder to find things. Like, I still don't know where West Park is and we're meant to beat up that guy. I don't know what to do about that, man. Now well, let's make our way all the way up to floor four, because I think that's all we need to be here for, right? I think. Hello. How are you doing? You wanted Stamina and XX, right? Yes, I did manage to save that for you. Good. That's right. Here you go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Just what I was hoping for. Bottoms up. I forgot what voice I gave him for a sec. Mmm. 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 That is a 10. I can feel my muscles practically bulging out of my body. You really sound like it, don't you? The one-eyed monster is back in business. Cyclops Ogre is going to dominate the wrestling world. You ready to fight? You know the rules by now, yeah? No weapons, no scary flame moves that will probably kill a guy. Yeah, sounds good. All right, let's do this. Hope you're ready for my full power, champ. Here we go. 
god, you're the worst. All right, well, I look forward to crushing you a third time. This is our third, right? Oh my god, you've got a lot of health now, though. Uh, I really hope it's... I, I do wonder if extreme heat would count as heat moves. Because, I mean, it technically... It's not even in the heat category in the, update, in the upgrade menu. So, I don't know. Does it not even allow me to do heat moves, though? Oh, I didn't notice that the last couple of times. Interesting. Well, maybe that'll be really helpful, then. What I'm going to do... I'm going to grab you first. And I'm just going to get tons of little light attacks. Because we just got... Ah! Oh, I can't quite continue on that on continue that on you quite as much as I can normally. Well, that's a damn shame. Well, let me pound on you just a little bit more because I really want to test out Ultra Heat or Extreme Heat, whatever the fuck. Uh, you passed it. No, we can't use it. So he is literally useless right now. You want to let me do Blue Flame, but for some reason you let me do that, which is basically the exact same thing. My god, you're pathetic. I can just ram you into a corner and you're, you're weak as hell. You're going to need way more stamina after this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I wish I was able to take some stamina before the goddamn fight. Unfortunately, you took all I have, and you're th like, I literally give you steroids. And then you're like, you know what the rules are. No items. You just took one, you prick. Uh-oh. Man, I hate that you're able to do that. That's such an awesome move. Why don't I get something like that? Also, you can do, like, jumping attacks. Where, where's, where's my jumping attacks? There you go. Oh my god, he flew. That was nasty. Here we go again. In fact, I don't think he's even trying anymore. Look at that. He's just letting me kick his ass. Oh my god. I don't remember being able to do that much damage before. <laughs> that was really something, champ. Yeah, you actually got close to beating me that time. I mean, you really didn't. You're pretty good at full power. Thanks. I think I'm finally ready to get back in the ring at the Coliseum. So you've fully recovered. You betcha. I'm not over there now and entering an extra... Gotta get the crowd pumped up for a big for my big comeback. Good luck, Oba. Oh, and I got one last thing for you. This is my prized possession. I want you to have it, champ. Mighty Primer. Well, we'll have to take a look at that. I, f I always forget to read them. My master died before he finished this one, so only the people closest to him ever saw it. It might be a memoir, but he still filled it with pictures. I appreciate that part. I don't think I can take this, Oba. It sounds really important to you. It's all good. I got it totally memorized. Besides, it makes me happy to see my master's teachings going out into the world, you know? So I'll see you later, champ. Okay. Let's go have a little read of it then. Is it invaluable? It's probably invaluable, right? It is not. Is it an other? Where the fuck is this thing? Oh, Mighty Prime. I went right past it. There you go. Um, you're able to learn Essence of Might. Ridiculous amount of strength. Slam the enemy face first into the ground. Well, I will enjoy that. Uh, for now, then... Wait, I can check what uh, side missions we need to do anyway. We got Granny and we got Mahjong. I think that's the only ones, right? So let's go find Granny. Oh my god, she just Thanos snapped the crowd. What the hell was that? Been waiting, Kazu-chan. Why is this city going to be such a labyrinth? I went and missed my reservation. That boy, you, you'll never fall victim to my womanly wiles now. <laughs> you is actually a friend of mine. I can talk to him later if you're really that interested. Why didn't you say so earlier? That's awful naughty withholding details like that from a poor old granny. Eh, as long as I get to meet him though. I'll let you meet him on one condition. Uh, what is it? Answer my questions. Huh? I ain't single and ready to mingle if that's what's on your mind, Kazu-chan. But maybe if you is asking... Tell me who you are. What are you hiding? I... I ain't hiding a thing. Pinky promise? So be it. I guess you don't want to see you you after all. Uh, hold on. Can I give Granny a heart attack? Then talk. All right, I get you. Don't got much choice now, huh? Sorry, but the answer's still no. Huh? Well, if it ain't my half-wit pupil, Yen Long, what do you want? I ain't coming back. You don't need to. We'll snuff out your life and claim the Lotus School for ourselves. Come again? I said we have no need for you anymore. Big talk coming from a little man. You're still just a sprout, Sonny. Tell me when you finally suppressed Carlong. She just said Carlong. Only if you think that way, you old hag. 
Carlo was nothing compared to me. That's right, you're funny. I ain't laughing. And it don't mean a damn shit if you can't back it up. How about we test these bold claims? Fine by me. I'll eliminate both of you with my bare hands. Hold up! This don't involve Chia Kazucha! Uh -huh. That's why you're wrong, White Lotus. This man is Kazuma Kiryu. No, the, the, the man who defeated La Lao Ka Long a year ago. I don't remember you. And now that you've sided with him, you are a traitor to your own school. He's speaking true, Kazuchan. Did you really take it to Lao Ka Long? Uh. I did. His snake flower triad kidnapped someone very important to me. Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this. He also set me up in a fake passport scheme 13 years ago. We have a long history. None of it's good. So, Granny, you were his teacher, huh? Yeah. I booted his ass to the, out to the curb ages, though. Didn't have a shred of respect for the school or what it stood for. Respect or no, we are all members of the Snake Flower Triad, including you, White Lotus. What? Carl Long went and got the Triad crushed with his own arrogance. Can't blame Kazuchan with, for that. You hopeless old hag! Defiant to your last breath! Which draws ever closer. Oh, give it a rest, would ya? You flap your lips like a donkey begging for a carrot! And I'm fed up with the sound! Now shut up! And fight me! I guess I should- I guess I should have expected this. Let's go, Granny! I love his little dancing around like that. You look so unbelievably pathetic. It's almost adorable. Oh my god, that's a new one. And one of the best ones I've ever seen. You're all pathetic, Jesus Christ. Now, yeah, you can stun me, but look at that. You, you can do nothing. Um, what did I even hit you with? I didn't even have a weapon out. That's new, okay. Oh good, the crowd just happens to be standing on a saber. That's incredibly useful. Bring it on, arsehole. Wait, I had to drop it, didn't I? For fuck's sake. How did I even drop it? And how do you counter that? It's impossible. Ugh, I just want the goddamn blade. It only lasts for four hits. It isn't even worth it. And I've accidentally gone for this dude instead of the goddamn sword anyway. Get out of my fucking sight. There we go. <laughs> I love kicking dudes all over the goddamn map. It's wonderful. Was that Granny's, like, war cry there? I haven't heard that before. That was that was gorgeous, Granny. You've got a wonderful singing voice. There you go. Oh man, this thing was worth it. Look at the amount of damage that thing did to the guy. I bring it on, Zoo. <laughs> I will always love attacks like that. Now let's grab. Really? Why are you all so goddamn quick? It's so annoying. I want to cripple this dude on the pole again. Damn it! Not quite close enough, huh? You know what? Come in. Beat him up, Granny. <laughs> that was quite the double team. Enough! All bark and no bite, huh? Guess you still got a ways to go before you surpass Carlong. Uh, one more thing. Stay away from the old lady. You hear me? Uh? Answer me! I yeah. We'll keep our distance. We promise. <laughs> <laughs> you don't gotta worry about me, Kazuchan. A pup like this ain't ever gonna stand a chance as he is. You hear that, Yen Long? Gonna have to keep training another hundred years before you're a real threat. Damn it. I like how he just abandons the rest of his triad. They just hung around. Appreciate the help, Kazuchan. It was nothing. Well, I get the feeling you could have taken them all by yourself, Granny. Sure could have. Might not have been such a walk in the park, though. Hey. Can I ask you something now? What's that, Sonny? You knew I was Lao Ka Long's enemy the moment you approached me, didn't you? Yeah. He might have strayed from the path I tried to pound into his noggin, but pupil's a pupil. Can egg the boy even if I tried. And even if you turned out to be an even bigger SOB than Ka Long himself, well, I'd have strangled you on the spot. I'm just googling who Lao Ka Long is. Oh, he's that guy! Oh, I like him! Yeah, yeah, I remember. I just, I, I knew there was this badass Chinese dude we fought, but we fought several badass Chinese dudes. I needed to remember if he was the assassin 
or if he was the badass dude with the swords in um in the cool jacket. He's the cool jacket guy. It turns out you ain't so bad, Kazuchan. You're more of a man than Carl Long will ever be. Sorry for testing you like that. It's all right. I didn't mind showing you, Granny. I didn't mind showing you around, Granny. Had a great time myself, Kazuchan. Well, I gotta catch my train. Osaka's got its share of grannies, but none that can fling a fist like me. It's been good. Be careful out there, Granny. Who do you think I am, huh? Tough cookie like me will be a centenarian and still taking it to thugs. Oh, and here. Well, this is what everyone's been after this whole time. Scroll of spearmanship, huh? Come see me if you ever find yourself down in Osaka. Don't worry, I will. Catch you later, Kazu-chan. I'm glad we did this before we actually left them, because, well, we're going there real soon. I never would have thought that old lady would turn out to be Lao Karlong's master. Maybe she could teach me a thing or two. I should look her up in Sotten Bori if I ever get the chance. I'm sure we will, buddy. Now let's have a little look in our inventory and have a look at that scroll. By reading it, you're able to learn the Lotus School Spearmanship Technique. Gladly. There you go. Now what does this do? Let's you draw 13 orphans. No idea what the hell that means. Uh, where's the... Where's the How to Win Mahjong book? Book that details the finer points of Mahjong. Yeah, I'd like to read it, damn it. But it doesn't work. Ah, oh, fuck it. You know what? Let's uh, let's go try the Mahjong quest. And if I can't do it, I can't do it. Um, I just gained 97,000 points with something called Pure 13 Orphans. Is that I go to Double Yakuman? I don't know how I won, but I won. Ah, uh, everyone is dead now. Do I have to play another round? Oh, everyone's down to 1k. We're just the king. What have I done? Oh no! Am I gonna play again? <laughs> oh no! I thought we'd done it! Okay, I need to win one more round. That's all we gotta do. And there's that little thing there. I Fuck Mahjong, man. I don't get it. We got an 8 and a 9. I guess we'll hold on to these. We got two of those, two of those. That's a good sign. Uh, we'll get rid of this 3. Or this 1, actually. Aha! We actually won! I didn't realize you just had to come highest in the rankings as opposed to outright, you know, fuck everyone out of their money. I think we did it! I did a Mahjong, everybody. Are you proud? You better be proud. Ah, oh, what the shit, man? You're like some kind of Mahjong wizard. I won one game to all the ones you beat me in, so shut up. I came in first, which means you'll clear Takasago's debt, right? Uh? Like hell we will! You'll have to do better than one win to pay off what this fool owes us. This bet was your idea, not mine. You can't just change the terms after you lose. Don't give me that preachy bullshit, man! Let's take this outside! Uh, hold on. I realized what we were playing. I think this guy's Kazuma Kiryu. <laughs> huh? The dragon of Dojima! Not a name I choose to go by, but where were we? I believe you said something about taking this outside. <laughs> uh, oh, let's get out of here! Sorry for dragging you into this mess. This was actually my first time playing here. I kind of just wandered in and they let me join in. I had a pretty good streak going too. I figured I couldn't let it, couldn't hurt to bet a little larger and that's when they turned up the heat. I lost all my winnings and I was in the hole before I knew it. They play me for a fool, huh? As long as you know better than to fall for it again. I won't be there to help you next time. Yeah. Right, I'm done with gambling. I'm with Mahjong, I promise. Anyways, thanks for helping me out. Here, 100k, not bad. Later. We're over a millionaire now, fuck. Yeah, kill you. let's do this. Not that it comes anywhere close to the several billion we could own in Yakuza Zero, but shut up. Um, Let's never play this ever again, because that was fl an absolute fluke that we got that 13 virgins order. Oh no, it wasn't. Oh no, I shouldn't confuse virgins with orphans. But anyway, the 13 orphans or whatever the hell it was. I don't know how we did it. I still don't understand what the actual combo was or why we did it, but that was fucking lucky, right? Now let's get out of here and never ever touch Mahjong ever again. Where are we? 
I said, let's get out of here. Where am I now? Are we just stuck in an alley forever? Where am I? What is this? And what is that shimmer? Oh, it's inside, isn't it? Why is everything so goddamn difficult right now? Wait, you're telling me I can't even go there? This is fucking confusing, and I don't get it, so we're leaving. And I think we are actually leaving, as in going to Theatre fucking Square. Where there will be even more side missions in Sotten fucking Bori. Ooh. Or... Instead of leaving straight at- what's that? Shoji? I don't know what that is. I think that's another uh, card game. Hmm. Instead of leaving immediately, could do a little bit of work down at, uh, Forshine. Remember, look at me remembering the name. Uh, I have no idea where it is, though. It has come to my attention that Forshine is in Sotten Bori, and I am a fucking idiot. So, uh, if anything, we'll be doing a shitload more Forshine once we finally get back over there. It's lucky, though, because I didn't really have an urge to do it until now, so... I was also wondering why the hell we haven't been able to, like, buy up or, you know, be partnered with any of these buildings over here, so I guess that explains it. Where exactly am I? Fitter Square? Let's just push right past these fuckers. I really don't want to fight, arseholes! Thank you very much. That was lucky. <laughs> it's really weird seeing all these dudes move around in surgical masks. I guess that wasn't really a thing until about 2006, huh? Because it's- I don't think it's been in the other Yakuza games. Ones i played so far. Are you, um... Are you that... Yeah, I know who you are, I just can't remember your name. Takashi, that's it. Why is your girlfriend orange? ねえ、so did you just abandon your new little girlfriend over there? I was working my ass off. Gas stations, restaurants, construction jobs. I've given every job my best effort. Still, no matter where I went, I didn't seem to fit in. I never lasted long. Then money got tight, and I... Then you tell me you once you'd do whatever it takes to protect Kayaka. You're ready to chop off a finger to prove it, too. Is that just a bunch of hot air? But Kayaka is... Hmm? What about her? She's... She's meeting with another guy behind my back. Nanny. What? You're sure about that? I asked her once, and she lied about being out with friends. I know there's something going on. One of my co-workers at my last job saw it firsthand. He told me he saw Kayaka go into a hotel with another guy. Hmm. Kayaka's leaving me out to dry, and I'm the one struggling to work. You're pathetic. You can't even confirm it yourself. All you have to go on is what someone else has told you. You're scared of the truth. Scared of the truth? Uh. Exactly. Kiryu-san... Have you ever heard the rumor about the legendary info dealer here in Kamurocho? They say he has eyes everywhere in this city. Is it true? If anyone would know, it's you. You've got to tell me, Kiryu-san. All right, I'll tell you. They call him the Florist. The Florist of Sai. I didn't know if you were going to go with him or Tamura, so... Please. Will you take me to him? He's got bigger fucking things to deal with, you know. I have to know what Kaioka's really doing. Maybe she's trying to make money for you idiots, so that you can actually live because you suck at your jobs? If I take you, it'll be on his terms. I'll talk to the florist for you, but no promises. Thank you. I do love that they're bringing back all these side characters from the first get from- I say the first game, from Kiwami 1 and just- I don't know, I'm putting them in main missions as well, because none of this shit had to be done. It was all sub-stories, it was- Cutscene sub-stories, but it was sub-stories nonetheless, so it's really cool that all this is coming back. 
I wonder if this was in um, the original Yakuza 2 or or what? Because I know they had a lot of sub stories in um, purely for Kiwami, but I wonder if they had in sort of main story as well. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know that. Um, let's have a little look around, shall we? Oh, I'm going. Why am I going to Millennium? Oh yeah. I always forget that the florist is living there now. It's really friggin' weird. Also, where is West Park? Because I want to beat the shit out of that guy before I leave. Is it here? I know it's A Park, and it's on Park Boulevard. I'm going to assume it's here. And before we visit the florist, I'm going to go take the fucker out, because I cannot be bothered to do it another time. Oh, no, don't start the fight. Go! Oh, we actually managed it. Ah, oh my god, damn genius. Maybe the taxis say West Park. Maybe I just got to rely on taxis a little more to, uh teach me where I'm going. It ain't you, is it? It ain't Majima. I hope it ain't Majima. We would not win against Majima. Ah. Uh, shit, doesn't seem to be. Well, here we are at the Millennium Tower. Let's see if I can actually remember how to get in this time. Is it round this way? I think it is, right? Yeah, it's round the front sort of theatery area looking place. I can't, I'm trying to remember what used to be, um in its place in Yakuza 0. Because I did used to know, and it was always really weird seeing Millennium Tower here instead of whatever it was, but now I can't quite think. Do you think we can just walk in without even talking to this prick? We actually can. He just assumes we're with the police now. That is fantastic. So, do I remember how this works? I believe... Can I not just jump it? I can just fucking jump it. Kiryu, where did you become such a fucking superhero? There you go. Now let's knock this down. I wonder if I can use these as weapons in case we have a fight here. Most objects with physics you can eventually use as a damn weapon, I've noticed, so that'll be interesting. For fuck's sake. Kiryu, you, you can stop being a superhero now because that was really annoying. Also, you can hear the- Yes. Yes, Kiryu? Do you, do you remember how to walk yet? There we go. It's really annoying that you can hear, um, the noise, even if it's sort of above you or on like a totally different floor. That can get really confusing, I imagine. Now, where is the elevator? Here we go. Will it just take us right there? It's a 50th floor. How big is this thing? Hello, Mr. Florist. Where did all your workers go? I guess it's the middle of the night. Do you not work all through the night? Pathetic. Hello. Florist, it's your son. Takashi wants to meet you. Of course, it's his fucking son. I didn't even think about that. But the question is, are you willing to meet with him? <sighs> you said it yourself. He's pathetic. No backbone in that kid. You mean you were watching the whole damn conversation? Not a trade he picked up from me, that's for sure. That's your answer then? Yeah. I don't even want to look at him. Hmm. No backbone, huh? Maybe the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Carry you! Leave him alone! <laughs> hey. It's just not my thing. I guess we're done here then. Wait. Takashi. The kid just wants to talk to the florist, right? Uh. Yeah, he does. And that's what I'll meet him as. Bring him on up. Alright. Mm -hmm. Hey, was that a smirk? Nah. Somewhere deep down, you want to meet this kid, I think. Oi. Mind your own damn business. Just bring the little shit in. Oh god, I've got to do even more backtracking? I thought it was going to at least teleport me over there. Hopefully it will teleport me back to the Millennium Tower and that's a thing. But Jesus Christ. I wish it was easier to leave as well. And now you have to run all the way up here to actually get anywhere. <sighs> Millennium Tower is fucking confusing, man. Now let me out. <laughs> the door just tried to fight me. Why is nothing going our goddamn way today? Oh, you're in the Champion District? That's where we were? I'll oh, see you guys there. Well, here we are. That was the Red Hound. I'm not sure we want to know. We'll stick to, uh... Oh, it's Shellac! I should have... Why haven't I been here yet? I freaking adore Shellac. Oh, man, this was our free... Oh, I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to talk to fucking this guy, who is not the Shellac bar dealer... Bartender, but whatever. Oh, hey, Kiryu san, how'd it go? He's got a minute he can spare you. Let's head up. Wow, really? Takashi, this is the florist. I... My name is Takashi. Mm -hmm. I don't need your life story, kid. You know how busy I am? 
then you already know why if you want the dirt on the girl you eloped with, right? I just need to know what, what Kayako is doing. I didn't ask for your reasons. You're in the market of info and I happen to be selling. That's all this is. Got it? Yes. So, one more time. You want info on this chick you ran off with? Yes. Once you know the truth, there's no going back. Sure you won't regret it? I'm sure. No matter what I find out, I'll deal with it. I can take it. Alright. Hmm. Oh, we even do get a proper cutscene! Yay! Man, she looks nothing like she used to! You don't even know if it's a dude yet. Is it a father? I think it's big, big gang boy dad man. I can't remember what he looked like though. Maybe it's just a messenger. It is. あの Takashi, you're about to stop feeling so fucking bad. だから私、彼を支えてあげたい。頑固者めえ。全く誰に似たんだが。さあ、きちんと就職したら何年かかっても必ず返します。あの男には期待しとらん。お前は惨めな生活を送るのが耐えられんだけだ。It's not your choice, man. Even if Takashi was a massive dick. Like, he was hanging out with other girls. Who knows what he's done so far? Kayaka, I'm... I'm such a... Ooh. The waterworks won't solve your problems, kid. Both of you, thank you. I know you guys probably think I'm full of it, but I'm gonna keep working at this. I'll work as hard as I can. I promise. I'll make Kayaka happy. Uh. Actions speak louder than words. Go back to Kayaka, Takashi. Right. Land a stable job, huh? No more running away when it gets tough. Right. Your father would be ashamed of you right now. What do you know about my dad? I'm an information dealer. What don't I know about your dad? Would you be able to find out about him then? Where he is now? What he's doing? If he's even still alive? There's nothing I can't find out. Mr. Florist, can you chat down my father? You got the cash? What? My fee, can you pay it? Yeah, how much would it be? More than your sorry ass can afford, that's for sure. No use quoting it. When you can actually support yourself and that girl, you come see me again. Oh, it's actually an adorable moment. I thought he was being a dick. Maybe then we'll talk like men. What do I owe for this time, then? This one's going to my tab with Kiryu. I still owe him a few. Thank you. Thank him, not me. Thank you, Kiryu-san. Really. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> You're an impressive father. Oi. Father my ass. I was strictly professional. Since when do you work pro bono? 
Shut up. Like I said, we're square now. I thought you said you owe me a few. That wasn't a few, that was a one. And it wasn't even for me. I forgot that was main quest. Here we go. I'm ready to go. I'll wait for you at Serena, okay? All right. I'll be right there. 